call this the big ballers pit. You guys play, uh, Everybody like, do they You guys play with. some mean games of horse here, I bet, huh? Horse? We got to get down with the real nitty gritty. Yeah, the whole thing? We get the nitty gritty. 21? 21? 21, that's too easy. Too easy? Let's go to first one to seven. First one to seven? Yes. But just one on one, though. Uh, one on one, two on two, three on three, yeah, one right. on three. You have like other kids in the neighborhood play the role. You see all these people like, over here. Is there like a chart? Do you? Do, is there like a? You Ain't do, like, no a chart racket, needed. Racket Everybody time, know time. who the champ is. Everybody know who want to test the champ. <laughs> so, the ball boys are my three sons. Most dominating basketball players ever to be raised. That's what I say when I come on. Close, close to the middle. We got some big chests up in here. Well, if, if you're gonna play my boys, you, you better be ready for a battle. I made them from day one to be the baddest suckers out there. And that's what they are, until somebody defeats them. And like I said, even then, we're coming back for more. But I think the best thing to do is run and hide. And stay away from the dark side. And them ball boys over there waiting and debating on how we gonna whoop that ass. You know what? A lot of people ask me, do they live up to my expectations? It ain't about living up to my expectations, it's about living up to their own expectations. I don't push my boys, I just lead them. I explain to my boys, and let's say you have a job, and you work nine to five, but you come in at seven, and you leave at uh, eight, but you're not getting the job done. You're a hell of a guy, but with the production, you gotta go. You gotta go. And that's just how it is in life. I'm trying to figure out where the 20 years went. It seemed like I was just sitting down, coming after a game when they were little. We all went to dinner and eat. We're doing the same thing today. At the Lonzo or Jello or Melo has a big game or something like that. We go out to eat, talk about it. It's just like when they were four and five years old, the same thing. And you look up, Lonzo's finna be a pro. Jello's finna go to UCLA. Melo's finna be a junior in high school. I'm like, man, where did all this time go? But it's fun, man, it's fun. You know what? That, that, that basketball is a hell of a product. Me playing basketball when I was younger, meeting my wife, she played basketball. And to go on this journey with my boys, you know what? We're so closely knit, it's, we don't even know we're doing it because it's just like getting up and brushing your teeth. It's just something that we do. Like I told my boys, when everything is done, you're going to look in that room and the only person going to be in there is family. Whether it be a couple of brothers or not. But all them friends and all them other people that jump on board, they ain't going to be there. It's just going to be family.